Ooh, oh, oh, wow. All right. Come on now, you doing, you being real inappropriate. Even better than I was the yeah. last time, baby. Ooh, 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 ooh. We back. Um What's up, J-Team? Welcome back to my channel. If you would like to join the J-Team, you just have to click subscribe. I might come up with a new intro. Kind of ashy over here. You know, sanitizer has become the new lotion. It's quarantine. No one wears lotion anymore. Only sanitizer over here. Today, I'm going to be, once again, trying some TikTok hacks. I've already done two of these videos, and I'm like, you know what? Let's just go ahead and do it because there ain't nothing else to do. I really hope everyone is being really safe during this whole situation because it is crazy. But I just want to encourage everyone to just find the light in this dark moment. That's what you have to do. There's nothing else to do. For this first hack, I'm actually really excited because this is like my favorite type of it's not a meal, but it's like an appetizer. If you like deviled eggs, this is for you. I know some of y'all are probably like, ew, deviled eggs, because Steven doesn't even like deviled eggs. Do you, babe? No, you don't, you don't. Nope. Exactly. I don't know how people just can't like deviled eggs. Like, they're just so good. To you. For this first hack, you are going to need a pot because you have to boil the eggs. Okay. Fill it up with water, obviously. <laughs> Turn it up to a boil. And let's go ahead and drop the eggs in. Obviously, that's gonna take a minute to boil. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to a whole nother TikTok hack. So you are gonna need a mug. This is one of my favorite mugs. The next thing you're gonna need is Oreos. Y'all, I could not believe that there were Oreos left. Like, whoo. Trust and believe when you go to the store, you'll find Oreos, but you won't find toilet paper, okay? But that doesn't matter. You don't need toilet paper. That's the best thing about these hacks. You don't need toilet paper. We don't need it. We don't need it. Is Oreos. Oh, and you're also gonna need milk. I know I have milk. I know I'm not the only one that crosses my fingers reaching for the milk because the milk can expire before you know it. And we got a few more days, just a few more. So everyone needs to run to your fridge and look at your milk because you're definitely gonna need that for this hack. Milk, Oreos, mug, that's it. Oh, you will need a fork. But that's it. This doesn't look like a new pack. Some of these Oreos missing. Oh, I had two Oreos last night. Okay, I'm about to say like, hold on, I know Times is rough right now, but don't go opening up Oreos in the store and eating stuff. Like, I'm gonna add three Oreos and some milk. I'm gonna mix it up. I feel like I need more Oreos. Um, all the TikToks that I've seen, it was darker, so I'm gonna add three more. Let's let it marinate. A little bit, let the cookies get soft. Mm, it smells really, really good. All right, so after you're done, this is what it's gonna look like. Okay, it doesn't look all that good, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna taste good. Now, Time to put this in the microwave for I believe one minute and hopefully it's a nice, moist, fluffy cake.
y'all this worked i didn't even think this would work because it didn't have any egg in it oreos and milk that's it take a look at this y'all what no liquid we not gonna try to flip it because what if liquid come you know now it's time to taste because it's all about the taste but first dear lord please bless this creation and let it be nourishment to my body lord in quarantine in jesus name we pray amen look at this first of all it's really hot if not a cake definitely like a brownie this that's black that's that's black right there Very impressed. Very hot though. Let it cool down. Definitely gonna let Bay taste some because he tastes everything. Yes, sir. I do be tasting everything. And guess what this is? Crushed up like uh, smoothie Oreo. It's Oreos and milk. Oh, dang. For genius. Got a little um, midnight snack um, recipe. Oh, midnight snack recipe. Yes, sir. Mm. That was so good. I kind of want another one. But. Be quiet. We don't want to. We don't want to wake her up. Back away. Back away slowly. I have some Chips Ahoy cookies and another mug. Y'all actually collect mugs, okay? And this one has a T on it for Trinity. Just like before, you're going to add in the cookie and add in the milk, chop it up, put it in the microwave for one minute. We're gonna see what happens. I'm hoping that it turns out exactly like the Oreos. This is why I love doing the TikTok hacks because I'm doing things that I normally would not do and it's it just feels good. I'm adding in two more cookies because it needs to have more cookie than milk for sure. Mm, smells so good. This is what it's supposed to look like. This smells really, really good. Check it out. Don't you love when hacks work? Let's give it a try. Mmm, not bad at all, but I will say Oreo beats Chips Ahoy. Oreos all day. It's okay. It would probably be better with some ice cream because it's not as sweet as the Oreo, but nothing can beat Oreo. What cookie out there can beat Oreo? Comment below. What is your favorite cookie? My cookie is obviously Oreos. That's my cookie unless it's a very soft, chewy chocolate chip cookie, which I've made them from scratch on my channel, so you can check that out. I've also made an Oreo cheesecake before. I've also made an Oreo milkshake. Wow, like I need to get back cooking. I'm definitely gonna be cooking this quarantine season. I have like a sugar rush right now. It's wow, like it's been a minute since we went to go visit these eggs. But getting back to these deviled eggs, wait, hold, hold on, hold on. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Y'all, this virus, this virus gotta be breaking out, okay? I don't know what's going on, staying inside for too long. Pour the water out. Ooh, these eggs are still hot. You wanna put cold water to cool down the eggs so you're not burning your fingers while you're peeling the eggs. You're gonna peel the eggs next. Now some people, they take the egg and they, and they peel it all slow. No, we're not doing that over here. This right here is a hack. I'm gonna take this. And you shake 
So I'm shake it like this. Gently. The eggshell is already cracked enough. Now I will say I'm not a professional egg peeler. So my eggs will have dents in them. You're gonna need a knife. You're gonna need a bag that's gonna include all of your ingredients for your deviled eggs. Cut the egg in half. Scoop the egg yolk out and put it in the bag because that's used, ooh, that's, hmm? that's used for the filling for deviled eggs. You do have to be gentle but I mean, if it ain't gonna be on a Thanksgiving table, I mean, don't press yourself, sweetheart. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. For my deviled eggs, I like some mayo. Ooh, oh, oh, wow. All right. Come on now, you doing, you being real inappropriate. Okay, sweet relish. I like a lot of relish in mine, so. Let's not be shy. Some mustard. Zip up the bag. And now, uh-oh, we, we need to let a little bit of air out. Now we're gonna mush it. Some of the egg yolk just not breaking down as much, but we're gonna see how efficient this is here. There we go. Wow, looky, looky. This is genius. But I can say that there are some clumps that are coming out that it could be the relish, but at the same time, it could be clunks of some of the yolk. I top it off with some pepper. Just a little sprinkle. Some paprika. Another thing I do is top it off with some cayenne pepper because I like a little spice in my life. It's optional, whatever recipe you have will work. It's all, it's it's your deviled eggs. This is beyond me. Look at that, look at that. All right, toast, uh, toast to positive vibes. Last one, y'all. This is making me feel a little bit better about Easter being canceled this year. Whew. All right, y'all, so that is all the hacks that I have for today. I wanted to do more, but um, yeah, uh, people have been taking all the food. So I had to order some stuff online, but if you did enjoy, of course, like, there's gonna be more of these videos because I don't have nothing else to do. I just want to, once again, encourage everyone to stay positive during this moment. Okay, you got this, everything's gonna be okay. You have to stay positive, definitely protect your mental health because moments like this can really, I'm telling you, it can really bring you to a very dark place. So I just wanna encourage everyone just to stay safe and stay positive. That's the most important thing right now. Call up your mom, your dad, your sister, get on video chat, tell people that you love them because life's not promised. Do what you need to do to express your love to the people that you truly love. Or, you know, actually people that truly love you, they need to hear it. Make sure to be bold, brave, and beautiful, and I will talk to y'all in my next video. Bye.